So as surveyors from time to time, we're all going to get in that position where someone says to us, oh, you're a surveyor, can you have a look at? And it might be something that's completely outside your um, your knowledge base, in which case as surveyors we should, uh, we should decline the instruction. But it does bring up an interesting point as to how many different types of surveyor there are. Uh, I'm, I'm a charter building surveyor, um, and at the moment there are something like 18 different disciplines of surveyor. Uh, building control, building surveyor, quantity surveyor, uh, residential um, valuer, general practice commercial surveyor, uh, antiquities and fine art, project management, uh, hydrographic surveyor, land surveyor, uh, uh, I think property management, it might be coming under something else. Um, and I would have left a few out, not deliberately, but I would have forgotten a few there because there are, like I say, about 18 different disciplines. Um, so, to start out your route as a, as a surveyor, you would do a degree. Now, if you're medical or legal, you do your degree, and then once you've completed your degree, you decide what you want to specialise in. So, all lawyers will have done the same degree, um, barristers will have done the same degree as lawyers, I believe, um, and then they just choose to split either barrister or solicitor, and then if you're a solicitor, you, you choose what you want to specialise in, whether that's family, um, matrimonial, probate, uh, litigation, criminal law, um, non-contentious property law, all that kind of thing. And likewise with doctors, you, you do your law degree, uh, sorry, you do your medical degree and then you do your rotation and you decide what you want to specialise in. Surveyors, it's slightly different, you have, to special, you have to choose your specialism before you do your degree. Um, so, get on with some out, I'll miss some out because I don't know them all, but you could go off to start your degree this September as a building surveyor, building control, um, what's called estate management, which then has clear branches into uh, commercial, uh, valuation, residential, that kind of thing. Um, you can do quantity surveying, you can do project management, you can do um, land surveying, and I'll, I'll see if I can get a list, I'll put them in the link below. Um, and so you have to specialise quite early on. So someone says to you, you know, I need a surveyor, um, you've got to kind of filter out what kind of surveyor they need. So you've got your, say, 10 d different degree paths, which will potentially allow you to, to come down one of the 18 surveyor routes to become chartered. But even then, those surveyors may specialise in, in certain elements of work, and there, there might be crossover. So you might get a, a general practice surveyor and a building surveyor, they both specialise in party walls, for example. And I believe at the moment there's something like 170 different disciplines that you can specialise in once you're chartered. Those include things like, um, as us building surveyors, um, not all building surveyors are the same, which kind of makes it even a little, little bit more confusing. So, as a firm, we specialise in building defects, building failures, insurance claims, and that's it. We do landlord and tenant, um, like dilapidation, schedules of condition, we do building surveys, and we do um, party walls, but they don't form the main part of our income. Um, we could also go on and do um, boundary disputes, we could do valuations, we could do a lot of residential work, we could do commercial building surveys, uh, we could do architectural stuff, um, we could do project management, but we choose not to do any of those. Um, my view personally is that there's only so much you can do, and although there are six of us in our, our little business, um, we still only specialise in, in really three or four areas of business, and, and that's it. I would personally be a little wary of a one man trader, a sole trader, that lists 17 or 18 different things that they can specialise in because no one person can specialise in all that stuff. Now those same firms might be uh, specialised in 17 or 18 different things, they might have 6 or 7 different people in the business and that's okay, we'll do different things. One of my colleagues for example is much more knowledgeable on landlord and tenant and party walls than I am. Um, I'm probably much more um, clued up if you like or specialise more in uh, building defects and building failures than, than he does. Um, but together, you know, we, we, we work well together and what we can provide these different services for you. So, when we get the inquiry, I need, oh you're a surveyor, can you look at such and such? Um, probably there's a fairly good chance that it's not something we would do. In which case, we would hopefully know someone who can and we would recommend one or two firms.
terms, if it's a land surveyor, we could recommend a company or two if it's a, if it's a commercial lease extension or something like that. But there are so many different disciplines and then specialisms within disciplines that you can't know it all and, and we do our own little bit. So um, if anyone's thinking of a degree in surveying, get as much work experience as you can with different types of surveyors as you can because as one of my old friends did years ago, he got his degree in building surveying and has never worked a day in his life as a building surveyor. He, um, we started out at the valuation office together in the mid 90s and he now is the director of a firm they do uh, commercial sales and lease extensions and lease renewals and reviews and, and that kind of thing. So not anything that most other building surveyors would do. So even once you've got your degree, you can then specialize in a, in a different area. But there's a lot to it. So if you or you know someone who is looking to uh, become a building surveyor, or so, sorry, become a child surveyor, um, just try and gain as much experience as you possibly can across as many different types of surveyor as you can because you could seriously have 10 of us sat around the table who wouldn't really know what each other does. Um, again, possibly a bit like a medical degree, but they have all done their, their same degree. Um, if you like the content of what we're doing, if you uh, if you want to have a chat about any of these bits, um, pop it in the comments below. Um, if, if you like the videos, please uh, click subscribe and the little bell icon which will be here somewhere, I have no idea where. Um, so you're, uh, you're notified of upcoming videos and um, I didn't issue one last week because um, user error I had an issue with the recording so uh, we'll try and get another one issue later on this week. Brilliant, thank you very much and I shall see you soon.